Hi, how are you? I hope that uh, the volume is okay. Sorry for the spinning fan. You would be dying in North Queensland right now if you didn't have a fan on and air conditioning. I've been immensely sad the last few hours, but my spirits have lifted in the last hour. Um, cheers, happy Monday. So I've just been to the supermarket and there is an abundance of food and um, all weekend I've been hearing how there's no food and meat so expensive and blah 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 and everything I wanted was there and sometimes it's easy to change things up. I just got this pork mince on sale. I'm going to cook it with pesto and brown lentils and I'm going to make lasagna for my kids for dinner and I got two packets of pork mince for four dollars. So, you know, we can find alternatives. And while I was sitting in the car park or when I stopped my car at the shopping center, um, I got a message from Scotland. A woman has collected two van loads of stuff to, and she wants to drive it to Poland to deliver to Gdansk where we're involved in efforts for helping refugees. And that just made me almost burst into tears because I don't know how she knows me. I don't know how she found out about what I'm doing in Poland to help Ukrainian people, but somehow she did. So it's amazing what can happen from the car park at the shopping center when you're just stopping in to get a few groceries to cook dinner. So that really lifted my spirits. And then I felt my spirits lift as I saw all the food that I could possibly ever want to eat on the shops, even though they say, everything can't come up from down south we have a lot of food available to us locally so that's made me feel really grateful and i'm going to do some floor mopping after i've done my cooking and it feels really really calming uh, and joyful to be able to clean your house and cook food for your family and not have to worry about bombs raining down on you or being knee deep or or covered in water and I've seen people friends of mine from South Queensland cleaning their houses today knowing how abundantly how desperately miserable and upset they are that they're doing this again so again it's another reason to be grateful for the fact that near where we are at the moment even though it's a billion zillion degrees we have um, we have food and it doesn't feel like a chore. We, sh we uh, have a luxury of moaning about the heat. We have the luxury about moaning of mopping our floors just to get the dirt off as opposed to sewage and mud. So I just wanted to share those little thoughts with you. Um, my women's wellness retreat is in two weeks. And to be honest, the last few days, the last thing I have felt like doing is convening a retreat not because I'm unhealthy but just because it feels again like a luxury that many many people don't have but I've reminded myself that those women who've booked and paid to come to retreat are doing so because they also need support and they've been suffering or they've reached out for connection and so it's my pleasure and my obligation to help them as much as I can so today I'll be spending a little bit of time finishing off the joining instructions for that and um, and doing my work in Brazil as well so after I've cooked dinner I'm off the floors I will be working but I needed really to share those reflections from you because I went for a run this morning I did 5k's at 6 a.m. and I felt like I was wearing a blanket of um, a hot warm blanket had been draped over me as I was running and I was just thinking you know it's such a, a privilege to be able to get up in safety and to go out in safety and to come home in safety and to you know do such simple things and there are so many people um literally being bombed to death right now uh, and we have a social responsibility globally to talk about it and to verbalize what we see because um, the thing is we're all connected just because we I live in Townsville now doesn't mean to say I'm not connected to what's going on in the rest of the world just because we live in the floods aren't here at the moment it doesn't mean the floods don't impact us we're all so interconnected in the world these days which is why I can organize rescue missions from my bedroom in Townsville for people in Ukraine and Poland is because we're all interconnected whether we like it or not and this war is going to impact each of us fuel prices will get higher and higher and higher I filled up my car this morning and energy prices will get higher and higher and higher and you will be impacted in every way possible which is why it's so important for this to stop 
as quickly as possible, not just to stop many more people being killed needlessly, but because the whole world is going to be impacted. Um, so the sooner it stops, the better. And inaction by our leadership around the world is having a massive knock-on effect for all of us, which is why I'm so passionate about it. Not to mention the fact that my friends are still trying to escape Ukraine. And they're stuck in bomb zones and war zones and they're fleeing for their lives. And other friends of mine are have been subscripted and they're staying to fight. So I have to just really try and keep myself sane and well. And my girls on the weekend were being their usual bossy um, selves. And they don't know what I'm doing in Ukraine. I don't mention anything about the war. I don't mention anything about COVID even ever really to the girls. And I was standing here in my kitchen last night and my eldest seven year old, she said, Mummy, you inspire me. And I said, oh, that's very kind of you to say. Uh, what, what, why do I inspire you? And she said, and I'd just been for my Sunday afternoon run. I was all hot and sweaty. She said, well, because of your running and writing books, she said, mostly because of your books. <laughs> Not mostly because of my running, because it takes me away from her. And I said, oh, well, that's really kind of you to say. And I thought, you know what? Those things are really beautiful. And I'm so grateful for that. But um, actually... The other stuff that I'm doing at the moment is far, far, far more important to me. So I have put my books to the side just for now. I have put, I'm still doing my running because I need it for my sanity. But my main focus um, right now is to try and find ways to help victims, the people of Ukraine, so that we can stop this war and limit the collateral damage that will go on for years and years and years and years and years. So those are my thoughts for Monday. I was feeling immensely sad. I then felt immensely joyful. I feel optimistic. I also feel joy in the basic domestic jobs that I have to do today. So I hope you're well where you are looking after yourself and you have some perspective on the world today. And if you um, want to reach out and connect, just do so because nearby is someone just like you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.